Hello, I'm Matthew Connor. I managed to get hold of the new Tailmade SLDR driver. A couple of big changes compared to the R1. You've now got this one sliding weight and obviously the colour, this charcoal grey. So is it the end of white? I don't think it is. Let's see how it performs. I've got the flight scope switched on, I've got great conditions, so I'm expecting good readings. Now, Tailmade say that this is a lower spinning driver compared to the R1, and the reason for it is that they've taken the adjustable sole plate from the back. Now, what they've been able to do now is push the centre of gravity further forwards to try and help drop the spin rate. So I'm expecting some good readings. Let's try this first one. That was a good first one. Ripped it, a little bit of right to left movement. I'll just have a quick check at the readings just under that 3000 rpm mark so that's not too bad for me i enjoy the ball flight when it's under that 3000 rpm mark now i believe because of the tour players are creating a lot less spin is that's they're actually going up a little bit high in the launch so someone like dustin johnson's using 10.5 degrees so that's quite interesting let's have another go that's another good one now this is set at 9.5 degrees but you've actually got the flight controls that knowledge that we've seen before where you can add loft by one and a half degrees and deal off the club face by one and a half degrees but when you do add loft you close the club face so that's not too bad for your higher handicap players that tends to slice the ball and for lower handicap players when you actually deal off the club face you open the club face so that's not too bad because a lot of good players don't like to see the ball going left so let's have one more but I'm going to hit one now from the toe and just see how forgiving it is. Oh, that was dreadful, just exaggerated a bit too much, so I think it won't even register on the flight scope, it was that exaggerated. Anyway, it still felt fairly good, I mean the shaft feels good, it's got this speed of 57 shaft in, so that's just a standard shaft, 57 grams, so it feels, it doesn't feel that light really, but it feels nice and balanced, they do do a TP version that's just heavier, it's I think it's more like 63 grams, so if you feel like you need a bit more control from the shaft, I'll go for more the TP shaft. Let's have one more, let's try and get one more out of the centre. That's another good one. So with every shot, the ball flight's been nice, it's felt solid, it's not felt really expensive, it's just felt generally just a, a nice club, and I feel like it's less is more with this driver compared to the R1 and the R11, where you don't have the adjustable sole and you don't have the, the, the movable weights, where before with the weights you had a 10 gram and a 1 gram, so you had like 11 grams to play with. Now, they've taken away all that and they've just gave you a 20 gram weight, so in theory, you've got more adjustability because it's, it's heavier, so it's going to affect the club head more. So let's have another shot. Just caught that one off the heel. It's still flown fairly well. It felt solid. It still felt forgiving. I suppose it's time to sum this driver up. I mean, looks-wise, it just reminds me of like the R series of, of 10 years ago, that look and, and, and the style. And I feel like technology. I feel like it's just like a, an English stereo system where you've just got a, a big knob just to turn the volume higher and lower. Rather than before, it was like a, a Japanese one where there would be 20 knobs to just do that same thing as an English one. I hope you've enjoyed my review of the Tailmade SLDR driver. If you have enjoyed it, then please give me those thumbs up. If you'd like any more information on this driver, then place some comments below. I am here to help. I believe they're going to bring a fairway wood and hybrid out to match this to make it a family of, of woods but in early 2014. Thanks for watching.